Good evening and welcome. This is evening prime time starting here on Mandate 2012. Our panel is back with us. Navika Kumar is joining back. Our political editor, <coughs> and of course to my right, Jam Rogue, SP Singh, Swaminathan Nayar, and of course Yogendra Yadav. Mr. Yadav, some of your observations it appears might have got Mr. Modi very angry. Were you the Buddhi Jeevi he was speaking about who couldn't swallow his victory? That's a matter of debate which will come up in the next. Wahafana, thank you very much for joining us. On to my right, Mr. Raja Gopal, Arti Jairat, Hartosh, and of course Manisha Priyam and Navika Kumar. This is the big lap. We've had a few surprising moments. One of the surprising moments is on your screen there when Narendra Modi actually went and visited Keshubai Patel. There was so much. Then he first visited his mother, of course, but the politically significant meeting was when he went and called on Keshubai Patel, and Keshubai Patel offered him sweets. This has been an interesting day for Narendra Modi. Ups and downs through the entire day. Eventually, the number comes down to about 116. Is the figure we are looking at? Jay, why don't you join us here, yep. and we'll we'll go through all the graphics uh, to explain the nature of this victory. First, let's put on our screen yep. the overall victory figure yep. in Gujarat this time. Yep. Let's put out the vote percentage yep. and the final tally. Yep. The final tally: 116. And uh, 61 for the yeah, Congress, party. Congress Party, 115, I'm yeah. sorry, and 61 for the Congress Party. party. So two down, mm, here it is, two down for the BJP, BJP. two up for the Congress, Congress. Party. These yeah. are the assembly BJP. trends BJP. Overall. Yeah, overall. And as you can see, Saffron is pretty strong throughout. Yeah. The vote share yeah. percentage is not as large uh, as it appeared absolutely. to have been in the afternoon. Yeah. It's down to 9%. Yeah. And therefore, Narendra Modi has done fairly well. Yeah. He's not done phenomenally well, yeah. as it was predicted yeah. earlier in the day. Jay. Uh, I should, uh, now, f first thing, we should try and give some credit to the pollsters. Most of them said a dip of 2%, and 47 is what we have hit at. That's so, pretty good. You know, credit to all the pollsters. Uh, now, uh, the numbers as we look at them, 115, the BJP does seem to have gained a little bit in central Gujarat, a little bit in south Gujarat. For the losses that it has had, partially yes. North Gujarat and Saurashtra, that's the way the tally has balanced out and come back to the same old tally. That's the rough, uh, you know. Let's pull out uh, the political spectrum, which yeah. we have been looking at to get an index of how volatile this election have been. Yeah. We expected that there would be some lines in between, but the big story is yeah. that the electorate in Gujarat has yeah. moved away. The yeah. final result may appear yeah. to be largely static, static, but that's not the story of the Gujarat yeah. election. Yeah. The uh, political spectrum yeah. actually shows a fair amount of volatility. The political spectrum for viewers who may not have joined us earlier in the day today is an index of how much each political party. Here it is on your screen. Now let's put Absolutely. up the live spectrum. This yeah. is what it looked like this Absolutely. morning. And here it lit up through the entire day. Jay, can you tell us? Take us through the spectrum and what's the story told in the Gujarat elections. Beautiful. These are about something like the first 89 seats that are either you know strongholds of the BJP. You know we call them BJP core seats yes. and leaning towards the BJP. The dents are not as many as they appeared in the morning. They are just far and few. But yes, the GPP dents are in the BJP leaning seats. We saw that and the other seat Mang Road that the BJP has won. Uh, they are there in the from the BJP leaning seats. The Congress does have some dents. You know uh, primarily in. Rashtra, these are the green tabs that you are seeing here. But on the other hand, to the Congress too has retained most of its strongholds. These are about some 10 seats that are you know, <coughs> hard Congress. The three BJP dents over there, uh, another 24 seats that are you know, Congress opportunity seats where the Congress has shown an ability to retain them back after 2002. The BJP has made quite a few dents here. These are primarily in South and Central Gujarat. But here among the swingers, the BJP has taken most of them. So there has been some sort of a churn. The number of reliable seats for every party has actually gone down. So for the BJP, the new core of its own could be something like 63. And for the Congress, actually, even the losses that it is having here, if there is something that it would call it's really its own seats, there would be not more than 18. Let's go straight into the political debate. This story in Gujarat is just beginning to open up right now. In some time, we're also going to bring you the firewall seats to get a sense of how closely the BJP has been able to defend its firewall, its strongest ever seats of 78. The story there, not too good. But we have a few questions we'd like to put up right now as I welcome Smriti Rani and Sanjay Nirupam joining us on this part of the debate. Anurag Thakur of the BJP joining us on this debate as well. In 2007, the Congress lost 26 seats because of the rebels and this time around did the same rebel issue lead to the BJP's defeat with the, with the formation of the Himachal Lokit party. Of course, this is, these are questions here for Himachal. We are going to first look at the questions that are important in the context of uh, Gujarat. But Anurag, if you are there 
with us why don't you answer the first question out there did the bjp strategy of cornering the congress over the corruption boomerang due to corruption allegation against its own party chief anurag did the gadkari factor do the bjp in let me first congratulate mr narendra modi and his team and the people of gujarat for creating a history as far as the himachal is concerned i i mean we have lost and and the, and if you look at the numbers congress won 36 seats we have won 26 if you look at the past and the history of himachal pradesh no government has succeeded i mean after being in power for 5 years we thought this time after governing the state for last 5 years and working for every section of the society we're going to come back but unfortunately we couldn't do well but if you look at the numbers in the past when we used to be in the opposition we used to win about 9 to 10 seats only but this time we were able to manage 26 despite that that we had about 14 independent uh, 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 from our party who belongs to the bjp but they stood as independent candidates that has affected the can, uh, the the fortunes of bjp well thank you very much anurag for that we'll come back to you but we are going to look at the national picture and joining us now is smriti rani and sanjay nirupa <clears throat> smriti and sanjay nirupam my my yes. my first my first question to both of you is whether the congress party has failed to be magnanimous enough this question actually goes to sanjay nirupam whether the congress party has failed to be magnanimous enough in acknowledging that it's a terrific victory for narendra modi this time in gujarat why did the congress party through the day keep claiming victory for itself in gujarat uh, arnab that's a fact that we lost but there's another fact that mr modi could not get a very handsome victory the way he was speaking for last 3 days that for the first time a 10% increase in the voting percentage is is going to be pro incumbency Uh, my question is where is the 10% increase your tally has not crossed the earlier one you have you have somehow you have you are down by two seats that means that was not pro incumbency vote now the point is why did we lo why did we lose what was the reason behind it what went wrong who went wrong where we went wrong that is going to be uh, uh, discussed in the party and we must discuss it we had we had well, contested on, very well sanjay surely Sa sanjay nirupam sanjay nirupam is it down to this that the congress party will say having won two seats despite the bjp getting over a 9 to 10% lead over you and retaining two thirds of the assembly two thirds of the assembly that you think that you have won when you won two more seats and the bjp has got 115 116 seats let's get smriti no Uh, why Arnab, was there Arnab, a hurry today arnab to to make that claim arnab, i mean I, let me ask you sanjay I, can i respond sanjay my question to you is did the congress party ever claim that it has won in west bengal in all the years that jyoti basu came back again and again did the did the congress party ever arnab, tell the people not... of west bengal or the people of india jyoti basu has not won we have won arnab arnab we are not claiming that we have won in gujarat it's a fact that we have lost we accepted full humility but the point is the way it was being projected that mr modi is going to create history it is not like that yes he has got third time opportunity to rule gujarat congratulations to him but at the same time he will have to retrospect in his why, own why working the way to the victory why have you been bitter about the victory no, <laughs> why have you been sounded bitter no, about the not. victory let's get smriti irani into the no, debate not right at all. Now. one minute sanjay nirupam sanjay nirupam let's get smriti irani in smriti irani your comments on on the observations that have been made by several congress leaders through the entire day today that it's not the bjp which has won it's actually the congress party which has won Since you talk about being magnanimous, let me first on your channel congratulate Sanjay Nirupam for the Congress's victory in Himachal Pradesh. At the same time, I know that Anurag is on your channel this evening with me. 
and let me assure anurag that anurag the victory in gujarat is a victory for the entire bharatiya janata party and those people who believed in development and supported us so let me assure you anurag that the unit in himachal pradesh is not alone we are with you and yet again through all our hard work and determination bharatiya janata party will be a resurgent political force in himachal pradesh having said that arnab i think that this is not the time for me to gloat in this victory but only gently remind mr nirupam that the vicious campaign that the congress had launched in gujarat not only during this election but before that has resulted in the defeat of shakti singh goel who was a leader of opposition has resulted in the defeat of arjun modwadia who was the president of the congress party and these two decisive Arnab, leaders of the congress party in the state do not as tall may i finish you see in the morning adna i got into a, t- uh, a talk with one of your panelists and somebody told me smriti irani loses school on times now so i have decided to be absolutely calm but i would request you to allow me to finish so let me just say this that it is respect to be yourself you, you, you don't have to be you be yourself smriti don't be influenced but by please, yes please please i don't have to be your this show so uh, Ha but let me finish Okay one second Only Sanjay Nirupam by the way Nirupam. is waiting to take you on but 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 Sanjay ji so may let I just take request, me on first and then I'll respond Because he heard you out you you hear him out you hear her out sorry and then you can respond in as sharp a manner as you would like to Smriti please complete and then I will go to Sanjay Nirupam for a response yes No my response is very simple that victory cannot be re- defined as by the Congress party with respect to Gujarat uh, like you have rightly said it is a two thirds majority like you have rightly said it is a hat trick and the truth and the uh, the f- sheer force of the victory staring the congress right in the face i hope that they are magnanimous enough to understand let alone compliment the fact that the bjp has won in gujarat at least understand that it is the people of gujarat who have yet again chosen to stand by bhartiya janata party and narendra modi so while you use this platform to in some way take pot shots at us don't take pot shots at the voter of gujarat Nirupam, your turn to respond. The question at this point is this: In Gujarat, can the Congress afford to celebrate their performance when all the big names in the party have suffered losses? This question, Sanjay Nirupam, being put also by Smriti Rani to you. It's time for you to give her a straightforward response. See, that's a fact that we don't have any opportunity to celebrate as far as the Gujarat election result is concerned. We, we it is very unfortunate that. Satyesh Singh Gohil and uh, uh, Arjun Mudwadi are lost. They are very, they, they were uh, very good, good senior and uh, 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 very uh, tallest, tallest leader of Gujarat. It's a very, it's really very unfortunate thing for us. But at the same time, may I remind Smriti Rani that even your five ministers have lost, even Gujarat BJP chief has lost. So the elections are basically assembly centric. the equation in each assembly there are different type of uh, 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 equations and due to that equation yeah, who lost who wins that's that, that, that's immaterial but as far as as far as as far as the overall performance of uh, bjp in gujarat is concerned i don't think uh, that is very much uh, very much very much impressive yes having said that i do accept that we have we were we, we were not able to uh, expose modi's false claim before gujarati voters that the fact we accept that that failure with full humility but at the same time election winning doesn't mean the issues are changed the problems are there gujarati gujarati farmers are not getting water electricity that's a fact that cannot be changed that fact cannot yes, be changed you cannot deny that keshubhai deny patel that you were banking on has been wiped out keshubhai patel has been who wiped you, out who told you together together with kach arnab together with arnab, kach narendra arnab, modi has got more than 33 34 seats in kach okay, rashtra which is an area arnab, which is affected arnab 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 this is your uh, this is your sheer imagination that we were banking on keshubhai keshubhai himself is a huh? big leader he was cornered in bjp that's why he floated his own smriti. party what is wrong in it smriti, but BJP we know that we never banking on keshubhai with keshubhai Smriti, Congress BJP, is... <laughs> Congress says we never banked on Keshubai. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm like I said, trying to retain my composure, irrespective of the comments I hear from Mr. Nirupam. Uh, 
and now I have a big smile on my face because every Gujarati knows the ground reality that the Congress was extremely dependent on the BJP. The Congress was not only uh, dependent sorry, on the GPP, it was also dependent on so-called activists who had a political and personal agenda.